legend sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Feet step over splinters of the moon. We are making raspberry preserves out of the wild raspberries that we harvested yesterday. Right now, we are boiling the jars to sanitize them and then we will mix in sugar and some lemon and make our raspberry preserve to put in the jars. have that on high um, getting it all mixed together and just deliciousness it's super easy so after that we'll just put them in close them up and we'll have some delicious raspberry preserves that you can put on toast you can put it on English muffins you can even make a raspberry pie with this filling so it's delicious Okay guys, I could not give you a proper wild raspberry preserves video without doing a taste test, right? I'm up here at the workshop 
Um, it is a little bit before sunset and I figured what a perfect time to make something absolutely delicious and enjoy the sunset, have a nice glass of wine, and yeah. I'm going to be making some um, crescent. A okay, so I'm going to be making like a puff pastry, but it's more savory with a little bit of sweetness. It's crescent roll dough wrapped around a brie cheese wheel with some raspberry preserves inside. It's going to be absolutely savory and delicious. This is the most simple recipe ever. Um, here I've got my raspberry, my wild raspberry preserves. Oh, I've got some crescent rolls and I did get the honey butter flavor just for a little extra. Um, and I also got this brie cheese, double creme. Yum. So let's get to it. This should be super simple. I used to be so afraid of these when I was little. Like they freaked me out because I was afraid they were going to like explode on me. Just go. Ah! There it went. <laughs> Okay. And roll them open. Now, the reason that I'm using this teeny tiny little pan is because, um, I'm cooking this thing and like I'll show you guys it's like a vintage little toaster oven so next I want to take the raspberry preserves oh shoot not the smoothest opening but it is delicious just literally you could like eat it by the spoonful okay so I'm gonna take some of this and I'm going to spread it on the dough just like that and just like that then I'm going to take my brie cheese I'm so excited. <laughs> Delicious. So you take the whole brie cheese wheel and you sit it right on top of your raspberry preserves there. You can do this with any type of jam or jelly. So then you just take these edges and I'm going to overlap them kind of so it doesn't all like, hopefully it's not all gonna squeeze out but we're just gonna kind of wrap our little cheese baby up. <laughs> I think I have a little too much dough going on here. I'm gonna need to take off some of this excess dough. Sorry, this is kind of, uh, this is not perfect, but it's so easy. Like you cannot mess this up. You're basically just making a little cheese baby and then patch. You guys hear the cows in the background, super annoying. Um, they came over from the neighbor and and it really sucks because they came over from the neighbor's property and it really sucks because uh, I have food plots over here that I don't want eaten by cows. Honestly, this looks and smells so good. I'm gonna try it raw. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sorry. Definitely not like raw cookie dough. All right. So there's our little baby. There's our little bun for the oven. I'm gonna show you guys this little um, toaster oven, quote unquote. <laughs> okay, so here it is. 
It's by Nostalgia Brand. It's supposed to be like vintage, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's like a little, it's like a little coffee maker on one side with like a, I guess a breakfast griddle top and then your little toaster oven down here. So we're going to pray that this has enough power to cook it. So we got toast bake on there. And we're gonna put our little bun in the oven. How cute. I feel like I'm using like an easy bake oven. And we're probably gonna let that run for at least 30 minutes. So I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to open some wine. All right guys, so I actually just, just I actually just decided to have an angry orchard um, and go on a little nature walk. I found there's this tree that has these little green balls on them. If any of you guys know what these are, let me know in the comments. This down here, ooh, lots of bear traffic, lots of bear traffic. This down here is probably my best food plot right now. It's really coming in nicely since we've been getting some rain and I've been watering it uh, with my tank. Lots of turnips, um, a few radishes, some rape. Oh, it's looking good. And I did let out my ladybugs um, not so long ago. So I've noticed that the aphids up here are way cut down in half. Um, I might release a few more bags but yep they're all gone they were in those bags right there i might actually grab that it's looking good looking really good so yeah i'm super excited about this i've seen a lot of nice deer through here so far it's definitely nowhere near perfect but i'm pretty proud of it I'm pretty proud of myself. Oh shoot. So I came to check on our little bun in the oven and it's looking like it is getting rather toasty on top. I need to move it down to the lower level. Well, hopefully I haven't ruined this uh, too bad so far, but we're gonna give it maybe like 10 more minutes in there and then see if it's good. So I think I just discovered something. Um, this little puff pastry of mine was cooking on the wrong setting. So I had it on toast bake. I think I should have just put it on warm slash heat. So um, that's what I just changed it to, but it's getting rather toasty on top. <laughs> just gonna add a little crunch for sure. But look at that raspberry preserve oozing out. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. I am ready for some raspberry brie pastry. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really hope this thing cooked all the way through because it seemed like the outside was cooking way faster. So I wasn't able to do it for like the full 30 or 45 minutes. So let's just hope that the cheese is nice and cheesy and melty and gooey. I was gonna put it on like this pretty cutting board to make it more fancy and aesthetically pleasing, but it's kind of stuck <laughs> to the pan. So we're just gonna like do it like this. Okay, you guys, I got these really fancy crackers. <laughs> I got some Ritz crackers to go with it, but you know what? I had to stop at, um, I went to Kroger earlier and got the brie cheese and everything, and I forgot to get crackers. I had to stop at the gas station, and this is all they had. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Let's give this a try. This is the moment of truth. I'm kind of nervous. Like, I feel like the cheese didn't melt enough, but you guys can see the top did get burned. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> <gasps> Yo.
you cannot tell me that that does not look extremely good. <laughs> you guys, game over. Honestly, game over. All right. Moment of truth. I really don't even need the cracker. Like, let's see. I'm just kind of like spoon it onto a piece of this. You see, we got the raspberry in there. Look how cheesy this is. This, this looks so amazing. Look at the cheese, you guys. Uh, as always, thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for this wonderful blessing of a harvest from wild raspberries to this. Thank you. Amen. unbelievable mm. <laughs> you guys this is so good like i have to post up for a second because this is so <laughs> mm. moments like this are just heaven i can have a terrible day but literally this right here just made up for anything oh my gosh i do like it on a cracker oh my gosh you guys look at that there are so many different recipes that you can do with these raspberry preserves it doesn't just have to be toast another recipe that i really like to use it on is like if you're cooking meat like pork chops or beef tenderloin you can use the raspberry preserves as like a glaze or like a sauce reduction. So hopefully I have inspired you guys to get out and harvest your own um, berries, whatever's locally grown or wild near you. Um, because you can really do so many amazing things with it and it's literally nature's like gift. The first part of this video of me actually harvesting the berries and my mom. I'm definitely taking her some of that, by the way. But yeah, the first part of this video was filmed when we were picking the berries. That was filmed maybe like a month ago. Um, so our, our berry season is definitely over here now. Thank you guys again for 200,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys in the next one.